Welcome back to another battle, everybody. I am c Money. I'm a Grandmaster Level Risk Global Domination player, and today we are back at it again on the Tier List Tuesday settings. I can't even say the meta settings. We are here on Tier List Tuesday, ready to play another bout of Tier List Tuesday. We're playing on the Castle map today. It's a, another map in the Fantasy Map Pack, and Fergus is here. I've uh, I've been away for a few days, so we're back. Ready to record. It's been almost a week since I've last played Risk. And we are joined by the man, the myth, the cat himself, Fergus. Uh, Blue takes a very strong middle position here. I like that a lot for them. They are playing within the plus three in the middle of the board. There are Military Division, which is probably where I'm going to cap as a plus four. We have South Guard plus two, Royal Sanctum plus five, Inner District a plus two, Central Plaza plus three, and Castle Exterior plus three if you're able to hold it. We have two blizzards on the map. Inner District is a now two-point hold instead of three-point hold, and then we have Military Division uh, now a three-point hold as well as um, South Guard on a two-point hold now. So my six is kind of locked back here, especially if White ends up capping on South Wing. I'm definitely not going to cap on the six back here. I'm going to cap on the four up here. It makes me a little bit susceptible to the blue player, but I have a ton of my material nearby here. So uh, that is going to be my start. Now, pink caps over here. I think that position makes sense for them, uh, although I don't really like that for them. I think that's pretty card blockable. White does trap our six back here, likely traps additional material of another player over here. We are going to cap on our four because it cuts off pathing in the middle of the board. Uh, blue could try to come roll it, but as long as pink doesn't roll our five here, we should have free reign for this direction. So blue, if somebody is capped on courtyard, blue is actually on a pretty simple card block if the players should decide to take it. This map is 31 territories. Uh, so 31 total territories we have two blizzards so there's 29 uh, territories available for us right now um, and I went through the, the bonuses already so we're continuing on I believe Enchanted Lands technically was uh, in front of this in order but I said in last, last week's video we'd be playing Castle next so we'll touch on Enchanted Lands as our map next week we'll see how this one plays out though this map is quite small uh, and very, very choky, especially with the blizzards here. The, the chances of you getting a non-choky blizzard is actually pretty slim. Uh, you'd have to end up with either, like, one of these ones out to the edge. Uh, or, like, kitchen or dining hall, but not both. Royal quarters, uh, blacksmith or stable or marketplace. Any of those would be fine. Or any of these two back here. But anything else is going to create a choke. Uh, even, even back here. A dormitory, you could get away with not, not having a choke there. But essentially, and ideally, we hold this whole area on a uh, three-point hold for the plus four. It is the strongest, second strongest bonus. Now, blue obviously could come down into me here through my two and into my cap because he has vision on that. Uh, looks like he's rolling with something else, so pulls into cap. Uh, is he going to try to... Wow, he rolls the three on two and wins it, but he locks his cap off from me, so we're not going to go investigating that. Um, I am surprised by that three on two. That is that is some good luck. The players in our game, by the way, let me get this into a good position. So I am nice here in the corner. You can see me, and I uh, can see the whole board, and we'll cut through the players here. General Kalsa in the first position from the United States playing as blue. We got General Gibster from Venezuela is playing as pink in the second position. The white player, Giovanna Cartwright from the United States in the third position. We have the yellow player, Gliding Genius 693 from, what is going on with pink's material over here? Uh, is the yellow player in the fourth position. I am seeing a grandmaster level player in the fifth position. And finally, the black player, Thurner from the United States in the sixth position. And Pink still manages to pull material. He hit this like four or five times unsuccessfully. He probably was rolling one dice each time. I'm not sure the motivation behind that. Um, but I can't imagine my six lives here for too long. But he's got to be careful. Bird, come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. All right, there we go. So I don't really have any vision on yellow. There's really no way yellow can even get to me. Um, I hope, I honestly hope yellow's capped on courtyard. I'm not going to get overly aggressive here because I know that if I take cards off of my capital, I risk opening up blue's capital. Like if I break him in this plus three in the middle of the board. So 
I don't really want to do that. I don't think he cleared out all of the material of other players in here either. Obviously, no idea where black is, no idea where yellow is. I have to assume yellow is capped on the left-hand side over here somewhere. We start with seven troops. We're going to go a guaranteed roll here on blue to make sure that blue can't hit into me on a future turn. I might roll the three-on-one on, on yellow here, but I, I think it's best to keep myself as many cards as possible without opening up additional capitals. We don't lose anything on that. We are just going to fortify the cap. Don't really care about pink here, and I don't really care about my bonus. I'd rather have a nice, strong capital so that if somebody comes searching, they're not able to roll it. So despite the fact that Blue's capital blocks up a choke, Blue actually didn't leave himself. He actually he doesn't have this bonus, but he also doesn't leave himself many cards, right? So he's blocked by my cap here. If he attacks down this way, eventually gets blocked by both white and pink. So I've got three attacks guaranteed right now, which is very, very good. White's got to be a little bit careful because he alerted pink. I have to imagine both black and yellow on the other side of him. If, if black or yellow are kept behind pink, blue, and white down in this bottom right, they're going to be in a really, really bad position. Black had, took a very quick turn. have to imagine they're pretty good at the game. Blue is making his move. Might clear out this bonus in the middle. We'll see if somebody comes down off of Courtyard and breaks. We'll get an idea of what bonuses people are holding after this turn here. Does Pink have this bottom right one, for example? That's a plus three. If he's getting eight to start, that will be a good identifier. He is not, so he does not have this bonus down here. I, I think Pink might have tried to roll trapped material on Bastion, which I don't think is a good idea. You don't try to roll material... That is, uh, that is locked. You force the player who has it locked to hit it. Uh, and white here on a two-point hold. Not bad for the plus two here. We are on a three-point hold for the plus four. Which could be good, but I don't anticipate... Unless pink bots, I don't anticipate us getting good enough luck to hold this long term. Is pink going to bot out here? That would be... Intriguing for sure. This map is very, very small, as previously mentioned. I can't imagine it ends up super high on the tier list. Is he going to come into me here? He does. It's not like I had this bonus. Anyway, locks his capital. I'm totally okay with that. We'll head off yellow here on this next turn. Um, let's see if anybody's on archery range. But I don't think holding troops on archery range is going to benefit me that much, but that is a decent cap spot. Where is white going? White is slidering something. Slidered whatever was in the corner. Doesn't I don't think he lost anything, so this will come back and be a 16 on cap after taking that territory. Yellow is holding... Yeah, so yellow is capped likely on, uh, on courtyard. Maybe steps, but more likely courtyard. I think that gives him more viability for attacks in each direction. Pink did not seem to want to attack whatever was behind him down here. Instead, attacks off cap to break me. Obviously, he doesn't know that I have this bonus, but curious play by the pink player. So we leave these attacks into blue if we need them. Find a little bit of yellow there. He has not pulled that back in. That's interesting. Surprised he'd leave those troops off of capital. Black just takes once. Chills. Blue still does not have this bonus in here. So blue very slowly taking their bonus. Seems like everybody still has their capitals though. Blue player and pink player are both pretty slow players to make their turns. See what happens on this next turn in terms of uh, attack uh, viability and availability. Am I just going to have to hit pink? Open his cap back up. Does yellow move this five off? Part of me thinks he's keeping this here as an intentional block to try to early card block. I think yellow has some sort of experience in the game right off the bat. But I do believe I took the best cap option available to me. And that's part of the problem with the tier list Tuesday uh, settings is that 
And it's only really matters what's available to you, especially on these small maps. So you got to make make do with what you can. And I unfortunately think this map is going to be somewhat bonus dependent. Um, I think yellow is just going to be off to an early lead here. We'll see if pink gets broken. But I, I don't get the impression that pink is very good. I think both white and black are pretty conservative, but that's probably the best course of action here. I think he hits my six here on this turn. Yep. Um, loses six on that roll. Got to be careful if uh, black has vision on that capital. That does knock him back down to 15. Yellow's getting seven. He was getting seven on the last turn as well. I feel like part of the reason this five is here is, is to make sure he has an attack. But if he is kept where I think he is, he should have an attack into main uh, Bailey here anyway. But I think he's taking cards in the back left here, wherever black is most likely. We didn't see any of black to really start this game. Yellow does break blue. That's bold, bold decision because now blue's cap is open to both me and yellow himself. But yellow does move the, the material over here. So we're going to hit yellow here uh, instead of pink. I'll hit pink on the next turn because I think yellow is trying to be a good neighbor to me. Yellow actually is not capped where I thought he was. And I have this bonus. Okay, pink broke. Sorry, I, I misunderstood. I thought that this territory up here, that siege tower, was, was part of my bonus. It is not. It is part of pink's bonus. Uh, so I understand why he took that because it's part of his bonus. So I'm actually holding my bonus, the plus four right now. I don't anticipate that staying this way however yellow breaking blue here is an interesting play because blue can attack right back into this and then also break him he's holding the nine here that's quite a bit seems like blue opted for breaking pink instead or just playing with some material elsewhere i mean blue did take a card so I'm intrigued to see where that happened. And now we know pink doesn't have this bonus. So pink shouldn't break us. It's going to come down to whether or not yellow breaks us. He did pull that material back. And we'll have continued hits back here. We can potentially find black's cap. We know where everybody... Well, we don't technically know where yellow's cap is just yet. But we know where pink, white, and blue are all capped. We've got white on south wing, blue on gate, and pink on north bank. So pink... Has a locked capital. White is now getting their plus two. So that is going to be fed into either Pink's attempted bonus or up into where Black is likely capped. Now Black could be next to Blue as well. I, I have no idea. We didn't see any attacks in here, but they could just be trading between, you know, Black could be on Blacksmith trading on Stable with Blue. But I think that's uh, probably unlikely. Uh, Yellow is going to continue taking territories in here. It just takes blue, and then he's going to fortify back to uh, to courtyard with a nice big stack. What is he? He fortifies back to capital. Okay, that's a smart play. I'll give him the well played. I'm trying to be uh, cordial with yellow because I don't want to bother him. He also sees I have a direct path to breaking him now. We've got a nine of pink back here. That is intriguing. So I've got a nice strong capital, obviously only in one position, but I have plenty of attacks open to myself right now. I got one, two, three. Uh, obviously, somebody could weasel their way in and block me over here and remove most of those attacks. But uh, this nine of pink is going to become very, very interesting in the late game because if we can remove that, pink is going to be uh, blockable for sure. Yellow has been. Yellow might just trade with me on North Wing now, so that he's not messing with blue anymore. But I am holding the strongest bonus here, so I'm slated to become the strongest player over time. Provided I don't get broken or lose a bunch of material. We still have not found the black player. If I had to guess, black is capped on either kitchen or dining hall. If he's on the throne, that's a very bad capital. And if he's back here somewhere, he's uh, not in a great spot. Blue taking a very long time to make a decision. And does get that fifth card. P 
Pink card skips. Not sure if that's intentional, but that is generally a higher level play. We'll see what everybody else does. I don't know that card skipping is that beneficial. White card skips. If everybody except blue card skips, I will also card skip. I don't want to cheat myself out of cards. It's really going to depend on what yellow does. I I, I card skip if yellow card skip or uh, card skips, but I'm not going to do it if he doesn't. I think if a bunch of people card skip and then I'm ahead of them on cards, it's not the worst idea. Yeah, he's not going to skip. He's not going to skip. I know he doesn't have this bonus, so we will just hit this right back. So blue, both pink and white skip. I don't have an interest in doing that. Um, I'm going to lose myself. I go from the... 12 to the 8 trade. I only lose myself 4 troops. That's part of the reason why I don't skip here. I think it's a mistake. Uh, White doesn't have a large cap lined up on him as far as I can tell right now. So I don't think it's as big of a problem for him. Uh, but blue sets in. Could maybe hit. Oh, there's... Alright, black is in the corner here on Blacksmith. I... I was wondering if that's where he was, and he, in fact, was. Tried to gain some vision on, on what he had available, sees that it's not a whole lot. So, that's good to know. Black capped within uh, Blue's bonus. He, maybe he didn't have any better choices. That's certainly a possibility. But I, I do find that capital to be very, very curious capital. It's a pretty easy card block, uh, especially if you control the Blue capital here. Now, Blue sets in. Does blue just sack into somebody here? Kind of get that feeling. They actually skip now. That is insanely bad. I'm not trying to be mean to the... Oh, they're botted. Okay, that makes more sense. The blue player has fully botted out. Uh, we do have neutral AI. You can see the settings are, as usual, auto setup, 60-second turn timer, expert level AI. If the AI was playing, it isn't. So it's uh, neutral AI behavior. You can see it in the inactivity behavior down below. Alliances and portals off, I can blizzards on, no rank restrictions, balance, plus dice and progressive cards are our settings for this one. Pink is now playing the game. I assume took a card this time. They are playing the game. So blue bot auto sets. Pink's taking a very long time to decide what they want to do. I almost think removing their nine up here might be a good idea. Yeah, so white and pink will get the best sets. However, pink's also probably got the worst capital of the alive players. If yellow continues trading with me up here, a uh, pretty easy card block on black is going to open itself up because he won't be able to take blue's capital. Uh, hopefully yellow does that. Hopefully yellow doesn't hit back into black. I think that would be a pretty big mistake. Also not sure why he's not playing off his three here to take the card. He added troops to keep on that last turn instead. Yeah, he's going to add him here. Maybe he hits pink here. I would probably hit pink here. Get pink out of this side of the map. He does. I'm going to give him the well played on that one. That's a really, really good play. So we'll just dip into the corner and keep. He brings that back to cap. It does seem like he is capped on, on steps there. Um, Pink's probably going to have to break me on this next turn. Don't think I can kill Black right now, so I'm not going to bother trying. I have a nice, nice strong capital and a good uh, grouping here with the uh, with the yellow player. Good. Uh, if alliances were on, that's effectively what we've got going on here. We don't see Black's attack or Black's fortify. It makes me think that they likely just hit stable. So they're down to one remaining attack without a set on Marketplace. Maybe they thought they could hit the botted blue capital. I think pink probably hits me on this next turn. Oh no, pink. Yeah, pink has this bonus down here on Castle Exterior. He's got to hit me or white. He's probably going to pick me. 
No set for me. He's going to get the 12 trade here. Would have gotten the 6. So gains himself 6 extra troops, but does put him back in the order. Lost his external position to yellow as well. Comes in here with the 20 stack. I'm not going to bother hitting this back. We're not going to give him a card here. I've got him blocked. I'm not going to give him free cards. I will give up on the extra four troops, if that's what it means. I think white... Did white hit twice there? He might have. Yeah, I think the block on pink is more important than uh, whatever else could happen. The problem is, is part of me thinks that white might have just broken. I think white might have just broken pink. Give him free cards. I'm going to see if that happened. I'm going to actually take back on pink. Ah. Uh, was yellow going to bot here? That would be very bad. You had such a good position. No, don't hit black. Don't give him free cards. Oh, that's a mistake. I think that's a mistake. I would not give black free cards. Bummer. Uh, yeah, we'll see what pink's at. If pink's down, we'll, we'll retake on the next turn. I'm not going to take the risk of... Because if the block still exists, we're going to let the block stay. Um, yeah, I think that's the right play here. I let the block stay on pink. Black still has a position elsewhere, I think. Because blue's not taking cards, right? And that wasn't off cap. I think black might be over on kitchen and dining and uh, one of these two territories and trading with white. Because we know pink had this bonus, and on the same turn that pink had that bonus, white had their bonus. Yeah, pink still's got their bonus. So that we actually we forced them to break white. They broke me on the last turn. We forced them to break white on this turn. So it's the right play, not giving them any card there. I'm glad I didn't try to go back on this. Cause as early as I can get a block off, that's the really the best way to play this. And white will hopefully be mad about this. Although white, yeah, white skipped as well. Pink skips. He doesn't even try to hit anything. Okay, great. Yeah, so that leads me to believe that white and uh, black are trading over in kitchen and dining here. He just rolled twice. I wonder if he rolled Black's material out of here. Because that would be super interesting. If he hits in the corner, I might actually open up his capital. Uh, I wait till the trade and then I open up his capital. Hmm. Not sure I understand that play. You don't have this bonus. I don't really know why he did that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that play doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Not going to open him up, though. He's going to be on a trade. But he, he doesn't have this bonus. This is where white just hit black. Yeah, 57 here. Not very strong. And blue is officially flagged. So my worry here is that yellow actually isn't very good. He, he seemed smart initially, but I'm thinking that and white gets broken by, by pink right there. 
thinking he might not be as good as I thought he was. Now White gets broken. Gives Pink a free card, but Pink is now two cards behind most of us. I don't know why Yellow hit all that. He doesn't have a claim to this bonus. There's no shot White doesn't just take the troops off that. Trade. My trade will be 25. I don't think I can kill Black. Very weird. I don't know what yellow's MO is here. Is he going to leave that there? Because I'm going to hit that. I don't know what that was all about. I'm going to go adventuring now. That's kind of the time for this. Just see what I can find back here. Bunch of white. 43 cap. 35 here. Uh, I'm gonna open it. 65. Well played. I knew this was here. Yellow's laughing. I mean, you came and hit me, bro. I don't know what you wanted. And white, and black gets trapped here. So as long as yellow doesn't hit this, black doesn't have any more cards. I don't care that I opened up his cap. I knew his cap was here. I was mostly just trying to get a, a, an eye for the numbers that these players were working with. I have another set if I want it. Um, I honestly think I could kill yellow and still... Well, I'd, be, I'd open up black to myself on a pretty strong troop. He had like 60 here. Part of me want part of this goal was to set up white to either kill, hopefully to kill. Oh no, pink broke him again. I wanted him to go hit yellow. That's part of the reason why I opened him. I was hoping he was gonna go make a move on yellow's cap. Yes, keep going. Go ham. Oh, he blocks it up. Why? This is a terrible play. He intentionally locks his capital for no reason. That's such a weird play. I don't understand that at all. Yellow trades in early. Not like he can do anything to me. Um, see how many attacks he does here, because he's obviously going to hit me. I respect him trading in early, but he's also not threatening to me anymore. He doesn't have a fortify. You don't have a fortify, dude. Was the goal there? Guess I'll just give Pink a card. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna give Pink a card. I'm gonna give myself a free card if I need it. I would like to keep the block on Black. Force Black to set in his only. He's gonna have to hit Yellow if he if he does set in here. Why would you roll that on me? Oh, he does it. He had. A, he must have had a card on stable that he hadn't taken yet. I've got the cap here, bro. You're the one supposed to hit. He's trying to get me to hit off cap to give him a card. I would only do that if it meant he went and hit yellow, but you should just set in and hit yellow. That's going to be your free card here. Or kill blue. It's probably going to weaken him quite a bit, and you won't. If he sets in and kills blue, he won't set in again off of that. Pink did have a card elsewhere. Somehow. He, he broke he broke white again. Okay. I understand now. Um, Yellow can't see my cap. Yellow's probably going to break me on this next turn because he's a very, very strange player. This is a ton of off-cap troops, though. Right? This is a lot of off-cap troops. And I'm trying to wait for these trades to get as high as I can. Does he come in and break black? Or does he just break me? He right, just takes this card over here. 
He's gonna leave four and sp and hit and then split. I don't understand why you would split the 23 there if you're gonna attack with this. Okay, that really should mean he doesn't break me, so I'm fine with that. Um, moves that back over there. All right, I guess we just hit pink. I open up pink's cap because I have to. Get the extra troops. Yeah, Yellow's playing a weird game here, though. I can I actually think I can kind of successfully card block him here in a moment. Uh, black is card block, refuses to trade. Alright, he's going to break me back, which is fine. I'll just send him the well played. This is the easiest card available for me, bro. I don't really care if you break me. Right, he's just going to leave that. He's going to fortify to it. That's alright, then. It's fine. Yellow will break me on this next turn anyway. Unless he takes a card off white. But leaving all of these off-cap troops is foolish, in my opinion. Um, I don't sit in immediately off of a kill on blue. But holding material there on that capital would essentially card block black. Would not be a bad idea. I don't know how weak the blue capital is, though. Picking up the extra cards is worthwhile in my opinion white is not broken anymore but he might not have cards i think that 23 came from here i think yellow put the 30 on grand hall and white doesn't have an attack to hit from unless it is breaking pink which is fine by me because it means pink's gonna have to hit back on that so i come around and set now Yellow hits white, presumably. Out of uh, the throne. Keeps the block on white. The problem with yellow blocking me is that he, he doesn't really have... Like, I can just wrap through black if I really, really need to. Uh, set here. Inner garden. That is... Uh, That's a blizzard. I might as well. 161. Give black a card or do I just smack yellow? I think I give... I t check this cap. If it's super weak, I'm just going to take it. 37? I don't think that's a worthwhile investment. I think trading with black is going to be a better play for me. Because if I don't give him a card in this next turn, he either hits the blue cap... Or he hits yellow. And if he doesn't do either of those things, then I don't really know what his goal is. Leaves the three here. This tells me he's probably going to hit the blue cap with his trade-in. That's not a guaranteed roll. And it doesn't set him in after. Boy. White's still blocked. Pur pur uh, pink takes a card. White goes into yellow with this. We'll see. Yellow's been very active with the emotes. So white might go through yellow on that turn. And, and leave uh, pink alone. Uh, I have a set on three. I don't really want to use it. But I could potentially kill yellow. Especially if white just hit him. Yeah, he's he, white hit yellow. This could be good. If yellow doesn't have a set here, I might just set on three and try to kill him. Or at least take his capital. As far as I could tell, it was not very strong. Now he sets on three again. Wow. This guy's luck with sets on three has been insane. Come here, buddy. Come on, big man. Oh, that's my boy. That's my boy. All right. In the lap. Uh, presumably retaliated against... Oh, does that all... That all went to cap. It either all went to cap or it all went to the block. Um, I don't want to give black another card. Although black's just going to hit this anyway, right? Pink's on five. 
Oh, I'm just gonna take the card, dude. It's not like you're gonna be able to take my capital. 42 cap, that's terrible. I wish I set in. I would have taken the cap because he just set up such a huge block on uh, on white. He just he's got like a hundred troops in front of white, only forty two on capital. Black's op black ops to not take the uh, yeah. You should fort. I would fortify that five. Uh, that blue cap could become very very useful for me very very soon. I'm worried pink is gonna try to take it. It sucks because if blue. Was on, yeah, that's 70 trade. That's big. He might take the cap this turn. That's two extra cards that he gets. I, I'm not going to be able to compete with that. That's actually a really smart play if, uh, if Pink does that. No hmm. worry, he's going to break me. All right, so you just card blocked yourself. It's not like you're getting through here, pal. Unless you go around and take this capital. White breaks pink. Or just fail to roll on yellow. White might have just missed a card. Huh. I'd prefer to wait for five cards before I do anything. White did not miss a card. Presumably yellow just takes back here, but I don't have a bonus anymore, so I don't really care if he breaks me. Oh, white got through. What is over here? He won't have a set anytime soon. Did white just bust through all of that? I want to go adventuring. Wow. He's holding that right in front of yellow or in front of white. He's holding the 135 in front of white. That is absurd. That's fine. I don't have the bonus anyway, and I think Black knows that. I'm not really worried about what Black does right now. His cap is in such a bad spot that when I need to block this, I can. Trades are so high that if, if Yellow doesn't set here... I think Yellow is going to sack into White. I think that's the best bet here. If Pink has a set on three, he should just take the blue cap. He'll set in off of it, too. Or actually, if he even if he just moved that 80 stack to drawbridge, he can take it. Um, because yeah, blue flagged, yeah, pink sets. I I think eh, I don't know. I think you take the blue cap here. Well played by pink. That makes him a little bit harder to block because I think that he would just trade with black. That's a really good play by pink. Now, if yellow connects me here and doesn't put these troops on cap, he uh, likely dies because I will set in off of killing him. Oh my god, White just hit the 135. White can kill him. I mean, this is the easiest kill ever. Yellow doesn't have a set right now. This is a free kill for me. He just hit the 135. That is absolutely a free kill for me. Plus two on Grand Hall. I'm going to lose that, but we'll just trade South Wing instead. Yeah, and he opens me up. Even if he puts these troops on cap, he's dead. Those probably go back to cap, but he's he's still dead. It, it doesn't really matter. Um, and this cap in here, pretty strong. Uh, I said I was going to trade South Wing. We will. We set in off of the kill. I'm going to put like six here. I don't even know why he's saying good luck. I mean, maybe he exists elsewhere. And I feed him. We have to open up black. 161. We got a big stack of pink there. I'm surprised that it's about that size. Let's get a 100% roll here. Boom. Only lose 88. I am going to come off cap here because I can fortify back to one. Because I want to see if the white kill is available off of this. I 
which I think on five cards it's going to be. We're going to move Fergus so I can focus on this. Um, get the plus two on Grand Hall. Yeah, this should be the kill on white as well. 100% rolled this. Make myself a little weak, but I think I'll be okay. Only lose 107. That's absurd. That kill. I'll leave this as like 75. I don't double set, but I have a set on the next turn. Don't want Bastion. I'd rather steps. 92. So we got troops on every cap here. Black's probably got a set. But he doesn't know what's on any cap, right? He only knows what's on this 91 cap. Which if he set in, he could take it. But then I'd still have the other two. I probably shouldn't have left quite as much over here. Because Black attacks... Oh, he Black attacks to the side. He actually can't check this. So I set in and I just add to this. This is fine. The question is, how greedy does Pink get here? This pink could come take this middle cap, which would be very, very good position for them. It'd also put black in a very, very bad position, in my opinion. Um, I don't really care what pink breaks now. I've got three capitals. It was maybe a little bit overly aggressive, but I set in immediately after, and I should be able to fully protect myself, provided that pink doesn't steal anything here. As long as I can get troops on these two capitals, I'm not so worried about this one. It's going to come off. Give him the well played. If he rolls this, I'm going to delete him. He's going to skirt around. Just don't hit it. Perfect. That's all I needed. So it leaves black with pathing into me. But he should just go back. He sees what's on every cap. I get 12 to start. We're just going to attack down, um, I think, into here. Don't want to give him path. I don't want to give pink pathing back to me. And maybe black knows that. 95 troops. Pink flags. He flagged after that. What? That's free cards for me for days, dude. All I have to do is block black now. Why did he flag? Oh my god, why did he flag? Why would you quit off of that? I have no idea. That makes absolutely no sense. All right, he flagged. That's fine. So black sets now. Do I have a set on three? I don't. But I've strengthened my, bolstered my capitals. If he rolls one, he significantly weakens himself. Well, he, I let me correct myself. He should significantly weaken himself. Well, he just locked his cap. Perfect. All right. Delightful. He just locked his capital. When I have at least a handful of cards I can take off a of pink. Uh, he's going to force me to hit that, I guess. Maybe he's got a set on three here. Maybe. If he's got a set on three, that's about the, the one thing that he can use here to, to survive. And maybe he does. We'll give him these cards back here. Yeah, I, I, if I have a set, yeah, I use my set now. Because obviously can't block him. Um, well, I, actually, I can block him. I should correct that. I'm going to force him to hit something. Uh, we hit off this. Make this a 10. Not worried about the 130 getting stolen. They drop like uh, 90 here just to be safe. And then this here. Should be enough. But this way, we keep the block, we keep ourselves with extra cards. And then I've got extra cards in the pink. I have no idea why that player flagged. Yeah, he's got a set on four. We're not surprised by that. Um, but he won't have a set this next turn. If I just loop in and, and, and hit that, I'll be fine. Um, he's got to fortify out to it. I think if he doesn't fortify enough here, 
going to potentially be a mistake. 140. Yeah, that's not enough. Um, definitely, definitely not enough. This should be a yeah, 100%. You won't have a set on that turn. A weak cap here, but it's, it doesn't really matter. He's got to try to dice roll this. Um, is he going to fortify off again? No, he's not going to fortify off again. Okay. Um, good game to you, sir. Well played. Black, I, I got the impression that Black was a good player with bad cap options. That That's really what the gist was here. Um... He was truly just a good player with bad cap options. If he pulls off cap, I will... Okay, he's not going to pull off cap. He's going to make me take as many cards as possible off of yeah. the uh, pink player here. Uh, apparently. <laughs> Which is fine. Um, I've got a bunch of troops up in his face, but I'm glad the snowball worked. I don't, I don't know why pink flagged, especially if we're about to see this capital over here. And if this cap is quite large, I'm very, very curious to why... Uh, to why he flagged but um just make sure we don't fumble this leave all of our caps defended i'll throw him the fist bumps i think he wants me to kill 108 yeah there's no reason pink should have flagged here oh my goodness everybody pink was so much better off than the black player they could have done an infinite trading zone in the center here i think he just tried to roll the pink cap there um I think he might have taken his troops off to hit it. I guess we'll find out here in a second. Um, Alright. This is not a 100% roll. I, I don't know if Black knows that it doesn't matter that it, because Pink is already flagged. But he was looking for, for some good tidings here. So, uh, good game. Well played. Thumbs up to you, yeah. sir. And we will do a nice cheeky little world down for you. And a successful mission here on the castle map. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, very tactical uh, attempts at, at blocking pink. Um, taking the kill available. Once I saw white blast that yellow stack, I'm like, I think I can chain these kills together. And so... Uh, glad I took that heads up play there. Black, I think, is probably a master level player, if I had to guess. Yep, master level player who just had bad cap options. White was an expert who I think just got frustrated with the novice level play of yellow. Intermediate on pink. Again, surprised he bought it or uh, flagged. Not surprised that the blue player was novice after the early bot out there. But let's take a look at the map and where it falls on our tier list. Because this is a tier list Tuesday video. Um... Let's get on over to here. So we got the image of the map, uh, map here. You can see how small it is. Only 31 territories without the blizzards. But we mentioned during the game, you know, if you had a blizzard maybe in this bonus here on one of these two spots, you got a, any of these blizzards, which we did have one of, uh, blizzard here, here, either of those two, uh, all but one of the bl spots in this bonus, and then most uh, th four of the six spots in this bonus, and then two of the spots in this bonus. So many options for blizzards that really choke up the map. The card blocks are a little bit too easy. I don't think it's the bottom of the barrel just because it's a little bit larger than those maps. It's got a little bit of counterplay. Uh, but we saw with the black player just some bad cap options available uh, that, that really don't guarantee you a great game. Uh, but he got second, so can't complain too much. And let's see where it falls on our list. I've got to find it here. Here's the castle map. I'm going to put castle firmly in the e tier i'm going to put it uh unfortunately just below brazil i think despite the size of, of us and brazil i think that because castle is way more choky by default those maps are a little bit more open they have a little bit more play to them i don't think it's f tier i actually had a lot of fun with that one it was it was gonna be f tier but i think it plays out uh, a little bit more enjoyable than I thought it was. Not crazy bonus dependent, but maybe a little bit. Uh, and uh, and certainly, 
uh, room for awareness. If you can keep yourself spread as possible on that map, you can certainly see what's happening. I think that uh, France is bad because of how bonus dependent it is, and uh, and the U.S. and Brazil a little bit better because the blizzards don't quite affect it just as much. So that we're gonna put that one in E tier. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Apparently, some people have been getting unsubscribed by YouTube. So go subscribe. Uh, maybe just double check because you might have been unsubscribed. Uh, comment down below what you thought about it. If you want to catch a video like this one, all you got to do is uh, press the subscribe button directly above me. And if you want to catch a video that YouTube recommends for you in the upper left-hand corner, as always, everybody, I've been C-Money. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a tremendous rest of your day. Peace.